The primary sources of aircraft AC power are three 115 volt, 400 cycle, three phase AC engine driven generators. Each generator has a continuous output rating of 36 kilowatts. The engine driven generators consist of two components, the main generator and the permanent magnet generator or PMG. Both components are connected and rotate as a unit. The PMG produces a low output voltage called residual volts. Residual volts power the main generator field, which provides the startup voltage for main generator output. The engine driven generators are connected to the respective engines by a constant speed drive, or CSD. The CSD maintains generator frequency, or speed, at 400 cycles per second. Each CSD has its own independent oil system. Oil coolers located in the respective engine fan bypass duct use engine fan air to automatically provide CSD oil cooling. CSD oil temperature is monitored by two sensors. One sensor monitors the temperature of the oil entering the CSD from the oil cooler, and the other sensor monitors the temperature of the oil exiting the CSD. Should it become necessary to stop generator rotation on an operating engine, a CSD disconnect feature mechanically disengages the CSD from the engine. During ground operations, the APU or an external power source may be used to provide main electrical power. Backup AC power is provided by a static inverter, which converts battery power to 115 volts AC. The APU generator is identical to the engine-driven generators. However, the APU drives its generator through a gearbox instead of a CSD. An integral fan provides cooling for the APU generator. This feature allows the APU generator a higher continuous electrical load rating than the identical engine driven generators. The primary sources of aircraft DC power are three transformer rectifiers, or TRs. The TRs convert 115 volt AC power to 28 volt DC power. Backup DC power is provided by a 24 volt NICAD battery. With the engines operating, the respective engine-driven generator powers its respective main AC bus through closed generator breakers. The synchronizing bus, which carries no electrical load, connects the main AC buses. This bus allows the engine generators to operate in parallel and share electrical loads. Bus tiebreakers connect or disconnect the main AC buses from the sync bus. The number one main AC bus powers the number one TR, and the number two main AC bus powers the number two TR. The TRs directly power the respective DC buses. The buses are also interconnected which allows the DC load to be shared and provides backup power to the DC buses should a TR fail. A current limiter, which is a fuse, protects the TRs from excessive amperage. The essential AC bus is powered directly from any operating engine driven generator through an essential AC power relay. The essential AC bus powers the essential TR, which powers the essential DC bus. 
If power is not available through the essential TR, an essential bus tie allows the number one and or number two TR to power the essential DC bus. Should power not be available from TR1 and 2, a blocking diode prevents the essential TR from powering the number 1 and or 2 DC buses. Normally, the essential AC bus powers the standby AC bus, and the essential DC bus powers the standby DC bus. Normal power to the battery bus and the hot battery transfer bus is provided by the essential TR. And backup power is provided by the number one and or number two TRs. During ground operations, APU or external power is connected to the main AC buses through the sync bus, provided the bus tie breakers are closed, a second essential AC power relay allows the APU or external power to supply the essential AC bus through the sync bus and number three main AC bus. The AC transfer bus provides power for ground servicing and battery charging. The AC transfer bus can be powered by the number three main AC bus or external power when ground service is selected. The engine driven generators are the only power sources which may be operated in parallel. APU and external power cannot be paralleled with each other or with the engine generators. AC and DC power is divided into four categories. Main power, essential power, standby power, and battery power. Main power is required for all normal flight operations. It is supplied by the engine driven generators through the main AC and DC buses. Essential power provides the minimum equipment requirements for flight in IMC. Essential power has no operating time limit. In flight, essential power can be supplied by any engine driven generator. On the ground, essential power can be supplied by an engine driven generator, APU, or external power. Standby power provides the basic power requirements needed for the captain's flight instruments and the number one nav comm radios. The standby buses are normally powered by the essential AC and DC buses. Battery power provides a backup power source for the standby and battery buses for up to 30 minutes. Electrical system controls and indicators for the captain and first officer are located on the center instrument panel. The following electrical controls and indicators are located on the second officer's upper and auxiliary panel. Exterior controls and indicators are located on the right side of the forward fuselage. Power from the engine driven generators, APU, or external power is routed through the E&E &E compartment to circuit breaker panels located on the right hand cockpit bulkhead and on the left hand cockpit sidewall. The bulkhead panel is labeled P6 and the sidewall panel is labeled P18. The lower section of the P6 panel contains the circuit breakers for the heavy electrical load items. The three power on lights indicate the power status of the respective main AC bus. The lights illuminate when the buses are powered. 
Additional circuit breaker panels are located below the captain's and first officer's instrument panels. On the aft end of the pedestal, above the second officer's upper panel, and behind the second officer's lower panel. The electrical panel markings represent the AC portion of the electrical schematic. Breaks in the lines represent the bus tie breakers, generator breakers, and field switch positions. Now let's try a few general description questions. 